We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Jerry was given up to 10 minutes to rest. Talk to his manager here and in South Africa. See exactly what it, where it went wrong. Recompose himself. Refocus. Try to come back and make what will be one of the biggest surprises in terms of comebacks in the history of African pool. Should he come back from 1812, actually 1811 because he won the last frame, should he come back, it will be one of those telling stories that would live on the lips of all pool lovers on the continent today, tomorrow, and years to come. He starts off by doing exactly what Jerry does best. He doesn't have so much he, have to, he has to do. He doesn't have this game in control. All he can do is for the frames that have to come with him having a chance, he just has to take that chance as it comes, like he is trying to do now. If this game is to go down to the wire, Ibra has about six games to break, and yet he needs only three games to win. That means Jerry is not in control of his own destiny. Ibra could come and put three out of six apples of the games he's left to break, and that will be it for Jerry. But in this spot, like they do say in other sports, you never say never. As long as he gets this connection on, like he has done, he's okay. It is a very sharp cut necessary here, but the guy doing the cut is Jerry. So it will not come as a problem. How will the white ball appear? He's okay in the corner pocket on the right. He's going for exactly the same shot, but he has to be accurate, and he misses. Ibra has six yellow balls, three of them dead balls, but given how he has been shooting today, I will not be surprised if he takes this game down. I don't even think he will play snooker given the position of the black ball. One of Jerry's strengths in pool is finding angles when snookered. So if Ibra snookers, Jerry will be in pole position to try and find his black and given the position where black is, it will most likely go in if it is touched by the white ball. Therefore, much as Ibra has three dead balls on the table, three dead yellows frozen against the cushion, he will have to play to finish. Should he put the yellow ball, which is closest to your screen on the right, to the corner pocket on the right, he can guide the white ball to open up one of the yellows against the cushion. You see that yellow ball, which is nearing the cushion on the right, 
He will have to try and avoid the white ball being kissed by the, his t-shirt. He's so confident. He has three yellows. He has a fair white for one of the two bad ones. The other yellow is in space. It is difficult to finish the game, but for a player of Ibra's level, it is pretty much possible. That is sublime. It is testament of a player who has been at his very best form, one of the best players on the continent for the last five, six years, and still counting. At times, he comes short of his own ability. But with this clearance, form is temporary, class is permanent. Ibra has class. Ibra 19, Jerry 12. The end is in sight for the little magician. His breaks have been on today. His clearances have been on. The game reading has been spot on. It is unlike his opponents. And I now have no doubt in my mind that in 15, 20, 25 minutes, Ibra is Mansur. Business is finished in Kenya and Zambia. But he has unfinished business in Zimbabwe. Leading 11-3 against Sakala. In a race to 16 and then losing that match. One of the and good performances he has had he has had in his career he takes defeat in matches like this very personally that is why he is so focused on victory
please accept my apologies for the last two three minutes for that break in video it was due to the network not myself not my gadgets accept my apologies this is a match where i don't want any viewer any lover of pool to miss a single shot you missed a few but we are good to go now for the last one hour there has been in this battle one player whose opponent has been pretty much pedestrian I have never ever seen Jerry being outplayed, outthought, outsmarted, outcompeted and well beaten to the level that Ibra is treating him now. Ibrahim Sajemba 20, Jerry 12, rest 1, the killer is on the verge of killing. Hundreds of fans who are gathered here at Climax Bar in Kampala are anticipating a moment which will burst them in joy. And thousands of fans who are watching online in Pretoria, in Sekunda, in Johannesburg, in Japan where Jerry is born, they are anticipating a moment of agony and despair. The Ugandans are now chanting the names of all the tournaments Ibra has come winning for these years. They believe that this match is going to become another of several that Ibra has come winning. Fans are having their phone cameras on, they are recording this game. They simply want to catch the moment that Ibra takes Jerry down. But wait a minute. Jerry has kept on reminding us that even in times of uncertainty, even on bad days, he has had a few good games. And like I've been saying, even when he has not been having all, he has not been having it all his way, he has been reminding us that he is a giant of a player. Not in terms of just his size, but his ability on the table. Jerry 13, Ibra 20. The math is very, 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 very easy. Very easy mathematics. If this game is to go to a decider, 
Jerry will have to win eight consecutive games to win the match. Any more frame he loses, Ibra is winner. This break may be the most important shot for Ibra in the match. It's a foul break. One of those moments where as a player or as a person in life, there is something you are aiming for. You have come so close to achieving that very thing. You are almost sure you are getting it and yet you are finding it a little bit difficult to get it. That is what is exactly what is happening to Ibra. He has done all it takes. He has more than done what is enough to win this match. All he has to do is to win one frame out of eight. He surely knows. You surely know. I surely know. The fans watching here surely know that Ibra is getting it. The only time is when. I meant the only question is when. All the rest of the games are pretty much deciders for Jerry. This seems to be the inaccurate shot that Ibra has been longing for in the entire duration of the match. I am not even sure what Jerry is exactly trying to do. It's going for a bank shot. Oh my god. He gets a round of applause from the Ugandan fans. They are celebrating this clearance. He's delivering and entertaining. Look at them. These are Ibra's fans clapping for Jerry. It is a characteristic of a great player. He draws celebrations and tips from even those who are supporting against him. Very special player. Even when in loss, even when in defeat, they normally say too little, too late. But those are, are the, the signs of Jerry as he normally is. The Jerry that has been a shadow of himself for the most of the day. Jerry 20, Ibra 20, Jerry 14.
this one I have to tell you. I noticed that the majority of the guys who are tipping Ibra are Mansur's fans. Uh, uh, sorry, the guys who are tipping Jerry. They are still tipping him, by the way. That is how fans are here in Uganda. Yes, they love their players, but they love good players, whoever they may be, wherever they come from. By the way, what Jerry is trying to do has happened to Ibra once in his career. He had an eight-game lead against Sakala at the Queen's Sports Club with 1,000 US dollars at stake. 11-3, he lost that match. Racing to 16, it ended 16-5 in Sakala's favor. 10 minutes ago, he was having an 8-game cushion with scores at 20-12. Right now, two games have disappeared in thin air, but Ibra is still a very big favorite. A very, very, very big favorite. Ibra is not even sitting, he's standing at the player's seat. He's just waiting for that one opportunity. Sharp cut on this yellow to put it in the center pocket. In between those two reds, we'll also open up the black ball for Jerry. And it does exactly that. Jerry 15, Ibra 20. Another chance comes Ibra's way. He must put on the brake. He must. He puts on the brake. It is a tricky looking frame, but for players of this level, it is possible. I wouldn't have him at fault for deciding to go for either of the colors, be it red, be it yellow. By his body language, he's choosing to go for the reds. With over 3,300 viewers as live witnesses to the most ever watched money match. I dedicate this one to all media men on the African continent. The guy who did this first and showed us the way from Lusaka in Zambia, William Soko. Shout outs to you.
Francis Mokwekwe from Zimbabwe. Cravo Platinums also from Zimbabwe in Blawayo. Mozi Fuze from South Africa. Evans Okacha of the Rock and Shoot Facebook and YouTube swimming platforms in Kenya, as well as Hezo from, from Kenya as well. Sam's Pool, TZ, Facebook streaming platforms by Samson Kibuga from Tanzania in Dar es Salaam. Thank you. When we get the spots being watched with numbers as these, which are pretty numbers that watch online when the UEFA Champions League YouTube channel is streaming the match between Man City and Real Madrid it is such a joy to have the sport as publicized publicized as beautiful as this once again with 4,000 and 200 live viewers at one point in this match it now surpasses the match between Aiden and Caesar in Johannesburg, streamed by Francis Mukwekwe on QPixel's photography Facebook page as the most viewed match live in the history of African Pole. Jeremiah Green is being treated to a test of his medicine by the little magician in Ibrahim Sejemba in the heart of the capital city Kampala in the East African country Uganda you may need to be advised that much as Jerry came to have a perfect tour which he's having by the way many matches against the best of Uganda's players different venues different tables different sets of fans different locations different districts the big ones which he really wanted to win to be considered as having silenced the entire country of Uganda where matches between Ibra and Caesar. Much as this is the seventh money match, in one way it is the first. And the fans are shouting towards Ibra, only one. At 7 p.m. East African time tomorrow, it will be Jerry against Caesar. Friday is open for any of the two players, including Caesar or Ibra, whoever may be willing to rematch against Jerry. If there is no rematch, Jerry will be traveling to Masaka, 120 kilometers from where we are in central Uganda, to participate in a 64 man double life comp, which has 800 US dollars winner's cash prize and some other monies for all top pl all players who finish among the best eight. It will be happening at KV Pool Arena in Nyendo, Masaka. <laughs> Shout out to you, Junior Remishrem, Mike Rembo, Kidia Omar, Norman Mwema, Jody Michael Ndeshe, I can see under inspection this is supposed to be 
inspector, player and streamer from Harare in Zimbabwe. Tabang, Skaramud, thank you for watching. Shafik Sentamo SL Ramabulana. Mike Rembo, teacher Farah Bernard Gabi. The intention is very clear by that shot to put the red ball which is near the center pocket on the right and the white ball has a natural movement to unlock the red which is touching the yellow ball in, at the background of your screen in that right corner pocket. Behold the match winning shot. Maybe yes, maybe no. Ibra must put. If he doesn't put, Jerry will most likely finish off this frame in his next visit of the table. And it will be three straight wins for Jerry. And it will start mounting pressure on Ibra. That is if, if it happens, which is also a big if. Lords and Lord, thank you for enjoying that music. Ephraim Zayufiri, thank you for applauding my efforts. Salon Po. You say you will go to a decider. Well, very interesting. Comment that one. Ibra now will most likely go for a bank shot in the center pocket on the left bank to the center double to the center a top spin on the white ball in case it is perfected then ibra will be home and dry tense moments silent hole and ibra misses Jerry is a little bit uncharacteristic of the jury because he's taking too much time between shots. This time he misses and touches his head in disbelief. He laughs at himself with a laugh of agony. I am not sure that red ball is portable in the center pocket. Something pool players call cheating the pocket. And it's in. Winner of today's money match is none other than Ibra.
I'm just looking for Ibrahim. Just. Hello, 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 my fans. This is Kira. I really thank my fans. Where you are? Thank you so much for the support. Big up, big up, Kira. That is Ibra. The celebrations will go on throughout the night. Guys, thank you for being such a wonderful crowd. We meet tomorrow when Jerry faces Caesar. I wish you a good evening and a good night.